Mars is an important planet in our solar system. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. The distance between Mars and Earth is 210.65 million miles. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. There are similarities between Earth and Mars. Mars has a similar tilt, which gives it four seasons just like us. If you landed on the Martian surface, you will see there are canyons and mountains and its poles have ice caps just like ours. People have been wondering about Mars since the ancient times. Mars was named by the ancient Romans for their god of war because of its reddish color. Orbiters and landers have been gathering data from the planet since the 1970s. Starting in the 1990s, NASA has sent a series of remote control rovers to explore the surface. So, in the last 40 years, there has been a flood of new information about Mars' climate and geology. Like we know, Mars is red because it's covered in iron oxide, better known as rust, and its dust storms can cover the entire planet. NASA has found hints of past lives on Mars, the most important substance that life depends on, water. There's evidence that water flowed freely on Mars long ago. These riverbeds and other landforms that seem like they were carved by flowing water. If that's true, there's a good chance that Mars once supported life. But since Mars is more than 4 billion years old, it's hard to say when. These days, Mars has a very thin atmosphere, so it doesn't tra trap heat like ours does. The average surface temperature is way below zero, so even though Mars does have water, it's mainly locked up as ice. We've also learned that the air is mostly carbon dioxide, so it'll be impossible for creatures like us to breathe. It is true that plants and other organisms can breathe carbon dioxide. Here in Earth, there are microorganisms that thrive in the cold with little or no oxygen. So it's possible that Mars might support basic forms of life. Recently, there has been talks about visiting Mars. Elon Musk has been talking about colonizing Mars. Elon has some crazy ideas on how to make Mars warmer. The fastest way would be to nuke the ice caps of Mars. So as the ice gets hotter, it will explode, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This way, it will be warmer for people to live. We will hear and see a lot about Mars in the following years. Thank you.